All right, folks. I'm kind of sick of this head unit. It just doesn't have enough features. It's worked pretty good. And uh, when I split out the CD, I gotta grab it with the tips of my fingers because it barely comes out. Um, I've had a different one for a while. I just haven't had time to put it in. And I uh, got the dash started to come out, and I'm getting ready to put that in, and maybe put my voltmeter up here or something. Mount it up there. So yep, here we go. Let me tell you folks, if bad luck was good luck, I'd be having a lot of good luck. Does that make any sense to you? See that head unit right there? Sweet looking, isn't it? Got that off of Car Audio Classifieds. Now you take a gamble when you when you mess with Car Audio Classifieds because you're mostly messing with used stuff. You're not messing with dealers. You're just messing with just people. The guy I got this from says he hooked it up for like 10 minutes and uh, decided he didn't need it anymore. Well, shit. It works. It comes on. But I cannot get any uh, any power out of the remote. For this guy. Yeah, where the fuck? This guy right here. This is my remote wire that goes back to my amplifier. <clears throat> that right there will not send a signal out to turn my amps on. So I thought, you know, <clears throat> thought maybe maybe it's my wiring harness. Maybe my wiring harness is, is bad. So I don't use all these because these uh I use amplifiers to run all my all my speakers, so I don't need these hooked up. So guess what? This head unit, my old one the uh, wiring harness from it fits in that one because they're both pioneers. Well, I get 12 volts out of this. When I'm hooked into this old school one, I get 12 volts coming out of here. That's what you need to turn your amp on. Since a 12 volt signal through your uh, remote wire turns your amps on. Um, I have my multimeter out here to make sure. And hooked into this, I get 12 volts coming out. With that, I don't. So what I decide to do is I'm just going to splice it in with my uh, my my voltmeter right there, which uh, I have a uh, a line running from my uh, my power runs to it, and I'll just hardwire uh, hardwire it in and uh, run a switch to turn my amps on. Then I can't get a fucking signal to come out of the RCAs. No sound comes out of the RCAs. So I hook this motherfucker back up for like the hundredth time. Then the front doesn't want to come on here. Then it comes on the next time I hook it up, and then it doesn't come on the next time I hook it up. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Killing me. It's killing me here. And this, this is a pain in the ass to work with. Well, it's a success and a fail. Um, the fail is the other head unit is uh, shitty. But as long as it works normally, um, I can still put it in my beater truck. And since it doesn't have any amps or anything running in it, hopefully it'll work normal for that. And I can run an iPod in my truck. Uh, sucks I had to put this one back in uh, for now but the plus is I got my voltmeter up here now bing bing so I don't have it sitting down here dangling around wires all running up the side and stuffed in the seat people try to move the seat up and back and forth it fucks shit up so that I'm pretty stoked about it's all running hidden Dash never wants to go in all the way because I got to cram so many wires and splitters and all that shit in there. I broke uh, broke a piece on here, so I had to screw right into the wall. You know, it's hard to see there. There's actually an eraser there because there's a screw sticking out that I'm sure will stab me. And this kind of goes back and forth. Ah, hell with it. It's good for now. 
I call the plus. Car's hurting. Had the doors open all day. Anyway, till next time, at least that's a success. Out of the way. Yep, yep. Sheepy doggy bows. Sheepin. Hey, Sheepin. Good boy. Nah.